What's going on guys, Matty Russell here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to build a dual root zone pot plant in your aquaponic system. Let's get stuck into the video. Now the materials you're gonna need in order to build your dual root zone pot is your existing plant. Otherwise you could sow seed from scratch. But in this case, I've decided to go with a ghost pepper chili plant, some extra potting mix, the pot which you're going to use in the dual root zone system with a bunch of holes drilled out in the bottom in order for the roots to go down into the soilless media in the aquaponics bed. Shade cloth, or in my case, fly wire mesh, which I'm using to stop the soil from going down into the river rocks in the aquaponics system, separating the two separate zones. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with how a dual root zone works, essentially the root zone within the plant is separated into two separate zones, hence the word dual. The top of the root system is growing in soil or potting mix, gaining its nutrients and minerals from that. And the bottom of the root system is growing down into the media of your grow bed in the aquaponic system, receiving water and nutrients from there. Essentially giving the plant the best of both worlds from traditional agriculture and aquaponics. Right, so the first thing we're gonna do is dig a hole in the aquaponics grow bed in order for the pot to go into. We then want to put river rocks inside of the pot so as to cover all of the water, ensuring that there is roughly an inch of stones covering the water to separate the two zones. We want to make sure that there's enough rocks covering the surface of the water so as to minimize any wicking. We don't want the aquaponics water wicking up into the potting mix, which could then cause any potential pathogens or contamination from the potting mix going down into the aquaponics system and potentially endangering the fish. We then want to take our mesh or fly wire screen and place it on top. Once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and take our potting mix and gently place it down over the top of the mesh, ensuring that none of it falls down the sides or goes down onto the stones in the grow bed. The purpose of this mesh is to ensure that none of the potting mix leaks down into the aquaponic system, causing any potential issues. The roots can still grow down through the mesh into the river rocks in order to gain nutrients from the water. It's now time to take our pot plant and whack it in the dual root zone pot. I then went ahead and packed around it with some extra potting mix in order to fill up the pot. Now, as you might imagine, you do need to water the plant from the top until the roots can grow down into the grow bed in the aquaponic system. When doing this, we do want to ensure that we're not watering it too much so as to cause all of the potential pathogens and any contamination from the pot seeping down through the grow bed into the aquaponic system. So we need to make sure that we're only giving it a limited amount of water so as to not seep down all the way into the grow bed. I'm going to go ahead and use this cup, grabbing some water from the aquaponic system in the sump tank and watering the plant in like so. While I've got you here, I might as well give you a tour of the aquaponics system and give you an update of what we've got growing on. I've got to say, I could not be happier. In here, we have some oak leaf lettuce and some bok choy going gangbusters in the floating raft. More bok choy throughout the entire grow beds of this system and along the back here, growing up our DIY trellis made from IBC cages, we've got our Lebanese cucumbers. Just look at them. We're gonna end up having more cucumbers than you can poke a stick at. 
Over the back here, we've got some corn starting to grow some cobs. Zucchini harvesting it like there's no tomorrow and letting one grow way bigger than you normally should. I know that when they get this big, they're that woody that you might as well split it down the middle and throw it on the fire. Apparently, they're not quite good eating when they get that big, but my purpose in growing it that big is just to play around and see how big I can get it. Let's say a quick get out of the fish and give them a bit of a feed while we're at it. And there you have it guys, that's how you build a dual root zone pot plant in your aquaponics system. Thanks again for joining me. If you haven't already, hit the thumbs up, share the channel on your social media platforms. Oh, and by the way, we just hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for all of your support. I look forward to catching you in the next one.